Hey Derek, thanks for being with us here today. We're uh, here for the Morgan Wooten website and I wanted you to tell us a little bit about Morgan's connections to this year's tournament. So uh, tell me about that. This NCAA tournament is going to be exciting. Any of 30 or 40 teams could win this tournament. As you can see this board, uh, north, the south, the west, the east, I mean, Morgan's footprint is everywhere. You can start with Merlin right here. Mello Trimbo, who played for University of Maryland, who's the starting point guard, 25 and 8. He played for Joe Wooten, which is Morgan Wooten's son. So there's an influence for DeMatha right there. And here we have Duke University, where Danny Ferry played for the great Mike Krzyzewski, the all-time winning as coach. Morgan Wooten coached Danny Ferry. Well, we had also Quinn Cook that played. He was DeMatha. We had Quinn uh, Cook. We had we, Kenny Blakey. Blakeney. We had uh, Kenny Blakeney. We, we don't want to talk too much Dookie. But <laughs> well, you know, I got to say one thing. Right before Krzyzewski <laughs> started winning championships, he spent a summer trip with Morgan Wooten in Greece. Uh, and he started winning after that. I'm just saying. Well, that has, that's, that's what we're talking about. Morgan Wooten influence here. And then we go to North Carolina. We had the great Joe Forte who played for North Carolina. The, the number one team in the country right here. North Carolina can make a heck of a run. Then we go to Notre Dame with Mike Bray, who was assistant coach with Coach Wooten. And if you look at Coach Bray, he's very similar to a Morgan style of coach. A high school assistant that goes off to become a college assistant for Coach K. That's just unheard of. Isn't and it? a very successful assistant and a head coach. Mike Bray has done an outstanding job in Notre Dame. And, and, and Mike told us last year, right before the Kentucky game, which was possibly the best game of all last year's tournament, he caught more, who does he talk to? Morgan. Morgan he, says, what does he say? Play smart. Play tough and uh, and uh, be quick, but don't be, hurry. Be quick, but don't hurry. That's it. Be quick, but yeah. don't hurry. Yeah. Yeah. And, then we, and then we have Robinson, the four-year starter for Pittsburgh, starting point guard, another DeMatha product. Who there. started more games or has played more games than anybody in the history of Pittsburgh. Started started as a freshman at DeMatha as well. And went four years as a starter and started four years at Pittsburgh. What a great leader and a great Runs player. the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is the quarterback. Like a coach the, on the team. Yeah, absolutely. He is the uh, point guard of that team. And then we have Denzel Valentine, arguably the number one player in college basketball this year. Played for Tom Izzo. A lot of people are picking Michigan State to go all the way to the Final Four and possibly win it all. But if it wouldn't be from... Denzel Valentine, his father, Colton Valentine, who went to Michigan State in the, in the late 80s. He's an outstanding player. His dad was an outstanding player. Look out for Michigan State. His dad was a Hall of Fame in uh, DeMatha. They have a Hall of Fame in DeMatha, and his dad's in it. Yeah, well, yeah. he's a, he was a Hall of Fame big guy. There's yeah. a lot of Hall of Fame guards. But... Oh, are you are you in that Hall of Fame? Uh, I'm in the Hall of Fame, too. Oh, right? there, now, but... who are you picking in the tournament? Uh... I don't know who I'm picking. Oh, what? Come I can't, on, I can't, man. I can't. I can't. I don't know who's going to pick. You know what? The final four could be uh, of these four teams. I can tell you this: North Carolina in the East. You can have on the Midwest. You can have Michigan State, KU, and possibly Oklahoma. And the national champion will be. We don't know. Oh. Stay tuned. <laughs>